took too much ground Sometimes I just wish I got up and just ran away I'm Jay Stone, and welcome back to another episode of my show at rockmetaltalk.com, Stone Chrome Radio, the Indie Authority. You can also hear us on iTunes, Spreaker, and YouTube. Fuck iHeartRadio, because the channel's the same bullshit. But um, I, I do apologize that the guest didn't call in. Um, I, I don't feel it's my responsibility to um, keep tabs on people. You're a professional, and... You really should have followed through with the call. So I, I kind of think it's dicky um, at, at this level and this stage of the game. A, 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 every piece of promotional material is something that matters. And this show matters to me. And I put a lot of work into making my flyers and getting the pictures and putting the songs together and uploading them. This, this just isn't something that's... Uh, a little hobby. This is something that needs some type of skill. And as you can see, uh, my show is very well laid out um, as far as promotional stuff and, and going from and two new tracks and fading in and fading out and professional theme songs and, 
and and all of that jazz. So this stuff does take a lot of work. It does take to know a lot of people to to make this stuff happen, whether it's just me on the show or not. Um, you, you know, people go out of their way to make this show the greatest thing, and then you have something like this where the guests don't call in. Uh, I, I'm not mad with him per se personally, but I'm just annoyed with the situation, and that that's all I can really say. And like I said, basically... It doesn't matter to me who it is. It's it's not right. If it was fuck like I said a couple of shows ago, if it was Axel Rose, fuck you too. I mean, it's it's I don't care if you Axel Rose. Someone should be feeding you that you have an appointment. Yes, you you have a life and you got stuff going on, but you book a show, you fucking follow through with it. That's all I can say there. Shine Down has got um uh, a new track, two new tracks off the brand new CD they just released. So the way I have the board set up today, I'm switching back and forth between units. I am multitasking. I do engineer the show. At the same time, I am broadcasting live. So some technical stuff does happen here and then, but whatever. I'm going to play you a little clip of this state of, uh, state of mind. I hope it doesn't blast through. It's getting ready to play now. So... Um, here we go. Here's a little bit of that. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but we'll give you a little taste of it here. Oh, sorry about that little interruption there. Just as I'm saying, I'm a professional broadcaster. The the sound died down there just a little bit. But, um, yeah, I like the song. I'm going to play it right there in the background just a little bit. I, I don't know what happened there, so I do apologize. It must be something with the, the Wi-Fi feed through the YouTube, but I did lower it down so it can play in the background. I do like the song. I pretty much think it's where Sound of Madness kind of left off. I'm not too sure how much Amarella sold, but um, this seems like it's going to take them way past that this time, which is actually good because I really love Sound of Madness. Um, I love a lot of the stuff before that as well. We, I do have a track loaded that I'm going to play that was already loaded before I knew that they put these two new tracks out there before the release of the CD. And again, Disturbed is coming out with a new one. So I'm looking forward to that. It's actually already out in stores. I say that like that because I didn't buy it yet. So it's actually on order through Amazon.com. Um, just, you know, things that people do. I mean, saying that they're going to do things and don't follow through with them. This is just not on Bobby Burns' end where he didn't, he didn't call into the show. This shit goes on all the time. It goes on constantly. Um, it, everybody wants something for free, but no one follows through with that end of the deal. It's like, you know what? I do a lot of shit for a lot of people, and if I say I'm going to do so, if I didn't do anything that you asked me to do, there's a reason I didn't do it. Um, I get requests to do a lot of voice work as well. Um, I tend not to take it because I don't want to let someone down. I don't have a lot of time to do it. So I take stuff here and there. And, I, you know, as, as it is now, I got a lot of shit going on. And I won't be doing anything like that for at least a month again. So I'm um, helping people out with websites and doing all sorts of shit on the side. So... I try, I try to do what I can there. So I do apologize about the volume dropping way down there. I had no control over 
that that feed for some reason. That's why I left it playing in the background kind of low, to be honest with you there. But I'm going to play another track from that. We're going to give you a little sample. I'll turn, uh, now that I have control over it again, we'll get a little volume back, and we'll play Black Cadillac, which I, I think it's going to be a great Shine Down, Shine Down album. So let's check out a piece of this. Aggravation. I can take it if I just relax I say a prayer for the motivation Keep me solid so I stay on track But there's a monkey on my back And he don't know how to act Got me climbing up and down the walls Now I gotta make a choice Maybe then I can rejoice Cause I'm sick of all the same withdrawals I got a mind full of inspiration and I ain't living in the past no more So peace to us on the big blue sky And wave bye-bye from the long back Cadillac May the clouds start to roll those stars And wave bye-bye from the long black Cadillac Like I said, I don't have a lot of control over the feed here So it's a little hard for me to give you exactly what you want but the song is still playing in the background um, I'm not happy with the quality of what's coming through my feed here so I am not going to play much more than that on the new Shine Down. Um, the song Cut the Chord that was the first single Periscope I just watched Shine Down on Periscope right before the show I mean this, this, is, uh, this is one of the greatest technologies to come out in a long time is Periscope because it's given people a chance not not just famous people, but people out there on the internet. Um, it's given them a place to, to talk and you to get to actually see that person. I mean, it's kind of bringing the socializing back to the internet where you can physically see and get to, to know someone to a certain extent. I thought it was great seeing the guys at rehearsal signing um, just little, like, paper copies of the CD cover. It wasn't the booklet, so it was just like a little copy of it. But it was great to see that, if you know what I'm saying. You know, I'm one that likes to know the band and get to know and see that type of stuff. That's just always how I've been since I'm a kid with every every band or artist that I grew up liking. I just, I just always wanted to know more about them. I wanted to peek inside the the, that world but you know there's always got to be that stuff left for imagination as well and that's part of what ruined the experience of a new album coming out and all that because there's so much shit on the internet it's like you know you see all of this stuff months before it comes out that's why Disturbed should just drop that new album they did a great job not saying shit it was being renewed no one knew that one was coming no one no one knew it was coming but anyway, we're going to move on with the show. I do apologize that this guy didn't call him, man. It's, it's, it's really depressing. I, depending on what, what, what's going on in my head at the time I talk to him, will determine if he's going to be on the show or what. Maybe the guy don't need me. It doesn't really matter to me either way, but just don't book a show, if, if you know what I'm saying. I, I wanted to get the word out because I'm a big Primer 55 fan, and this is their last two shows coming up because he's forming Murder the Flesh. So uh, I'm really disappointed because from a fan perspective and not only being someone in the music industry and a fan and a host of a radio show that gets anywhere from 10 listeners live to a total of 30,000 in a clip of, of a show. So depending on what venue you listen to it on or avenue, whatever you want to call it at this point. But it's not it's not fair to me. Sorry, I haven't been feeling that good, so I got a little thing going on in my throat. <clears throat> but uh, I could have hit the cough button right there, I guess. But this shit with the, uh, the two reporter people getting killed live on the news, that's some shit. And you know what? Uh, I'm tired of hearing the black, the white, the this, the that. It was the gun. It's the gun laws. No. It, it takes a mental kind of person to do something like that. And there's got to be a level of extreme hate and, and a passion as well. Um, the guy was very obviously upset, but 
with uh, the church shooting with that freaky little white kid in North Carolina, wherever it was. 